Jackie and Tiana, thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to speak to you both. And you too, Joanne. Thanks so much for having us. So, Tatiana, please let's start with you and tell us your journey from Ukraine to Ireland and how you got here and how life has been since you've arrived. Uh, okay, it was um, very hard to me. It was, um, I arrived uh, uh, in Ireland with my three daughters. Um, uh, and I arrived uh, here uh, um, on uh, March uh, sec of second March, and um, uh, I didn't know no nobody here, uh, and um, um, I met here um, a lot of wonderful people who helped me uh, and my daughters. Uh, with the documents, with uh, with home, and uh, uh, first people who met uh, I'm at airport, uh, it's Poland people who uh, take me in this town, Tulo, Tulo town, uh, and uh, I met here um, Jackie, uh, and also uh, I have a lot of support uh, from Tulo friends and uh, and Jackie, um, they help. Uh, helps us uh, with schools with home with with everything uh, and uh, also jackie help uh, to to do this project sunflower seeds uh, because uh, she saw that it's very hard to be here in ireland and uh, uh, know all this news what happens in ukraine and uh, it's it's very hard to sit and uh, do nothing, and also a lot of Ukrainian people here uh, near Tulo uh, in Carlo. A, a lot of Ukrainian people came and uh, and came uh, and uh, stay here, and um, uh, that's why Jackie uh, do this project to help to be useful. All Ukrainians uh, who stay in Ireland and uh, that we can do something for Ukrainians who are staying in Ukraine to help them. So it's over 100 days now since the war began and have you contact with your family back home? Uh, yeah, I try to contact every day with them. Uh, my husband uh, now in the East uh, uh, on a war he fight uh, and um, my parents uh, in Ukraine, my sisters with her family. Uh, yeah, that's really difficult. And how are your girls settling in, in Ireland? Uh, they find they go to school. Uh, uh, the youngest is um, very good here, maybe because she have uh, she has a uh, friends from Ukraine in her class and uh, um older girls also fine yeah so jackie what a story since um meeting tatiana and her wonderful children it's been quite a journey for you also but this is one story of hundreds of thousands of displaced ukrainian civilians who have escaped not everybody got out um, and who are trying to make temporary homes in other countries, because we know everybody wants to go home home. You know, they want to be at home. So how did you meet with Tatiana and her girls? Um, well, Joanne, for, first and foremost, I suppose, um, I had been part of a, a group of volunteers in, in a local parish centre called the Tunnel Friends of Ukraine and, and like so many other communities right across the country, including go, your, own, your own hometown, um, putting donations together and sending them to the Polish border. Um, and at that point, my name had been out there as somebody you could contact if you wanted to donate. Um, and a gentleman who had met Titania and the girls in the Dublin airport um, didn't know me, but knew of me, um, reached out to me, asked me would I know of accommodation that could take them. We had a home that uh, we could offer. Um, and I suppose myself and my husband 
like so many other Irish people, had been watching the news unfold, feeling absolutely useless and helpless and wondering how we could contribute in some way. So the hosting um, was always something, um, but I never had anticipated it all happening so quickly. And I suppose I hadn't anticipated how big a part of our lives the Pam family would become and how much we'd grow to love them. But I suppose, Joanne, um, the most common question is, for many people, is how is Tanya and the girls settling in? Um, and my answer is is pretty con constant. And to say they're not, they're not settling. That's not, that's never going to be an option because they all want to go home. What they are trying to do is make every day just livable um, while they worry about their loved ones out there in horrendous conditions and in constant danger. So they are, I, I know that Tanya constantly uh, pays gratitude to so many people um, and they are internally grateful, but they want to go home. Um, and so many Ukrainians, they want to go home. And why wouldn't they, like any of us, if we were, you know, pushed away from our loved ones and family because of this horrendous war? And from the, the sorrow and the pain that you're going through, it uh, became a wonderful bud up an idea that has blossomed into a, a nationwide campaign, an online campaign, and transforming the landscape of Ireland at the same time. So tell us about So Now, Tanya. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, so Now is, is a project of Jackie. It's uh, like a... Um, all Ukrainians who stay here want to um, support uh, and um, help people who live uh, in who lives in Ukraine, uh, who who stays in Ukraine. Uh, and um, as 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 you know, that sunflower seeds is the symbol of Ukraine and um, it, of independence of Ukraine. And uh, Jackie do this project like the support of, of Ukrainian people. It's, it's a very big project. A lot of people uh, do um, the, the greatest job uh, and uh, it's a huge, uh, huge, uh, huge work. And uh, we all are very appreciate for, for everything that they do for, for Ukrainian and Ukrainians uh, in Ukraine. It's... Um, I'm very grateful. Um, what, sorry, Joanne. Um, one of the biggest, um, as Tanya said previously, you know, um, she was sitting here feeling that, you know, what can she contribute to those back home? And that's what the So Now project was to do, um, to raise much needed funds for the Red Cross Ukraine appeal so they could assist the war effort um and i suppose while i had the idea um i had a huge amount of support and particularly from rachel doyle in the arboretum garden center who was instrumental in helping me source the seed um and then so many people who volunteered to support myself and the girls pack all the seeds um to develop the website to to the graphic design. We've had so much goodwill and support um, to get the project to where it is today. Um, and I, uh, to the Irish public that have bought their seats to date, the idea, you know, extended beyond fundraising to the whole sentiment that when all of these flowers are sown, that for a little while in September and October, that when those sunflowers bloom, that Ireland would just look a little bit more like home for so many displaced Ukrainian people. It's quite remarkable in its idea, but also in the logistical rollout and what you've achieved so far. So you managed to get a, a nationwide retail distributor to put them in stores 
on nearly every corner in Ireland. Uh, you have since launched an e-commerce website and are selling them online. How have the public responded and what is your call now for, for help right now? What do you need? Well, I suppose, you know, um, I'd have to say when people see the pack, it's very distinctive. It's in the Ukrainian colours. Um, so now for Ukraine is the mantra. Um, but I see a, almost a relief as people pick them up because it's something tangible and physical they feel they can do. Um, and they're all, almost gratitude. I, I spent my days in bloom and every second person, Joanne, just said thank you for doing what you're doing. And I didn't take that as a thank you to me personally. I, I took it as a thank you and, a, and, and an expression from the Irish public that you've allowed us buy into something and feel somewhat useful um, in doing this, in buying the seeds with the proceeds and then making that symbolic gesture of sowing and showing our colour for Ukraine. Um, and so what I'd ask now for the month of June, many people would perceive that it's too late to sow, and it's not. Rachel Doyle of the Arboretum would suggest that you sow by season and weather, not by, not by month, by the weather. And if you plant the sunflower seeds in small pots this week, you'll keep them for two or three weeks um, in your windowsill and plant them out by the end of June you will have a glorious bloom of sunflowers in September. And uh, it will really will be a, a show of colour of solidarity for the Ukrainian people, who for many people are fighting our war. It's a European war. It is so close to us. These people are standing up for independence and democracy. And how brave are they to do that and sacrifice so much in the name of democracy and, and humanitarian um, salvation, really. And Tanya, I'm sure you found this project really helps you focus your mind and know that you are doing something really, really important for your not only your family, but your country back home, because not only are you raising money, but you're spreading the message, you know, and every single uh, pack of seeds that arrive into a person's home there's a family there a discussion will start a family will get together and they will plant them just like i did with my son and that is as important as the money that will go back because europe needs unity and solidarity and you know we saw your vice prime minister over in ireland a uh, this week and, and sharing the message. So you are advocating and you were doing great work in, in being a, a, a voice. So um, I think that we should say thank you to you. And I know how appreciative you are, but you don't need to keep to say, saying it to us because, you know, Ireland is a, a place of a thousand welcomes. And, you oh, know, uh, you know, uh, my, um, I, I must say that I appreciate all of uh, Irish people all of Ireland even because not only for for myself all Ukrainians even who who uh, uh, packing these seeds because uh, a lot of Ukrainians uh, also uh, do this work uh, with with us and they also very grateful because they also have a, a little piece of of them uh, and they also um, contribute yeah they want to, to support everybody and they want to be helpful helpful and uh, and i i must say uh thank you for all uh huge thanks for everybody for for everything yeah it's amazing it's a wonderful project and it it brings a bit of a light and and joy amidst all the darkness so Jackie, we really have to go and uh, try and get people to go and sow their seeds in June. Get the pots out, sow the seeds, and then take a little video or a photograph and share it on their social networks and be the person that is is advocating for this too, right? Absolutely. It's the, it's the equivalent symbol of sticking the Ukraine flag outside. So do this in every house, in every club, in every business to show that you truly 
not only are fundraising, but you do stand with the wonderful people of Ukraine in solidarity. Well, it's an absolute pleasure to speak to you both. Congratulations on what you've achieved so far. Um, I'm sure it'll only be the first of many ideas uh, <laughs> if Jackie's involved. Um, mm -hmm. It won't stop there. And um, yeah, I, I, I wish you both well. And Tanya and your children, I, I wish you so well also. And if you ever want to come and visit Galway, come and visit Galway. I'd, I'd love to see you and host you over here. No, there's there's an invite. Thank you so oh, much, thank you. Joanne. Thank you very much. So people can get their seeds, Joanne, in the Arboretum Garden Centres, as well as Super Value and Centres nationwide. Amazing. And what about your website? Do you want to give that a plug? Yeah, you can also buy online and we will post them out to you on www.so-now.ie. Amazing. Thank you so much. Buy the seeds uh, for support Ukrainian people. Amazing. And plant and grow. Thank you so Thank much, Jackie and Tanya. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you.